Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Wandering Hamster, part 8. As I said, I'm going to be continuing off right where I left off, without so much as saving in between. Yes, I know, I live dangerously. Let's move on. We just came in here using the Myrmidian suit, and we were allowed to pass. So, let's go find out what lies in this general direction. Down some stairs, to the purple basement. La 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 la. Decreasing these smaller rooms, and I would have to say that this treasure chest looks important. Let's try it. Found Brost's teddy bear. Ah, what's this? A teddy bear? Cute. This must be Lord Brost's childhood toy. Hey, it looks kind of like you. It does not. You take that back. <laughs> anyway, let's go straight to that ghost and see what happens. Okay, so if you remember, Granny Brost. Uh, said that we would need to find one of Lord Brooks' toys in order to remind him of his childhood. There's the imposter. Oh. Okay. Alright, so I guess... Oh. Mini boss time, I guess. Alright. Yeah, okay, I forgot about this. Arch Guardian. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like our disguise wasn't completely perfect, as they figured out... Sorry, we figured out, they figured out exactly who we were. Also, they are beating the crap out of me. And he is out of MP, which is just lovely. Actually, maybe I have a potion. Uh, I should have been... There we go. Blind Fury increased attack and decreased attack. Lovely. Oh, I'm sure he's gonna go down soon. I hope. Maybe. Make a bubble. There we go. Level up for James. Okay, so that was close, and our Mimidian suit is gone. Which means we have to slog it all the way back, fighting random battles along the way. Yeah. Ow. I believe those are... Not legit bomb. Okay, after this, I think I'm going to just off-screen it back to the general area of Lord Drost. And I'm going to go heal all along the way, since you don't want to see me die a billion, a billion times, like, Jim, like Bob just did. Uh, anyway, yeah, after this battle, I'll off-screen it. Eventually. Okay. So this goes... These guards are from the first castle and they are still weak. So they, they do not pose any sort of threat. Okay. So blah blah blah. There, yeah, so okay, I'm gonna off screen it back to the end and then back to uh, where Granny Brost was standing. See in a, see in a bit. Alright, and we're back again. Yep, here we go. So now that we've got the teddy bear, we should be able to break the curse on Lord Brost. Let's see if Granny says something. No, he doesn't. Okay. So let's beat this Brost ghost into a bloody toast. You dare return? Have you forgotten so soon that I am undefeatable? Look what I have. Is this your teddy bear? Gasp! Gasp! Mr. Fuzzy! 
Look, I think he's weakening. Cursed hamster, give me back my teddy! Ack! Do something, quick, he's gonna get us. I thought this teddy bear was supposed to put him at peace, but it's only making him more angry. I have half mind to just clobber him with cl blah, 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 blah. Just clobber him with it myself. Bob equipped the teddy bear. So now we have a rather amusing boss battle. That's right. James is uh, Bob is using the teddy bear to attack Brost. So this time, he should be somewhat more defeatable. So undead tends to be weak to fire. Okay, I'll just stick with regular attacks. And not bubbles, since bubbles suck against ghosts. James is playing the white mage in this battle. It's too bad he doesn't learn a uh, life spell, because that would be useful in some cases. Oh. So yeah, you can see the Brost Ghost is made up of three parts. You got the body, which is what we're attacking. And it's got two hands, which you can't hit. But they attack separately from uh, from the body itself. Unlike in it's a different it's different from many games where you can actually kill the hands, only for them to respawn later. Here you can't you just can't kill them at all. Sometimes messages will flash on screen so quickly you have no chance to see what they are. And he sinks to the floor and is dead. Yay, we won! Haha, <laughs> success! I declare myself, Lord James, sovereign ruler of Castle James and all the surrounding territory of James Land. Heh, look out, your head's gonna burst. Don't forget I helped too. Too. Helped? Why, without you, I would have been burst ghost toe. Hey, I just said that joke. <clears throat> anyway, I wouldn't have uh, stood a chance. In fact, I hereby declare you to be Sir Bob, first knight of the... Um... Well, I was gonna ra say round table, but I haven't got a table, round or otherwise. Can I be Sir Bob, first knight of that really ugly carpet back at Hasm's? It's unorthodox, but I like it. Can't wait to start remodeling this place. Why don't you go rest? Okay, see you in the morning. Okay, so here we are, back outside in the inn. And I'm willing to bet the guard will still charge exactly the same amount, even though I'm Sir Bob, the first hamster of the ugly carpet back at Hasm's. I'm gonna save and go back in and take a look at his remodeling job. Then I'm gonna have to cut it off there because I'm running out of time. Okay, so the walls are now blue. Who's this? Have you explored north of here? There's a city populated by cats. I'm sure we'll learn more about, more about it later. It's great this land is peaceful again. It's been a long time. Thank you. You finally put my grandson's soul at peace. My turn. You can't play with it. So even after all that trouble, he still won't die all the way. Ah, blue. Lord Brust used to have a potted cactus that he would stare at for hours on it at a time. I wonder what happened to it. Oh, uh -huh. interesting. Anyway, actually, you know what? I just realized there's a cutscene when I talk to him again that I really don't have time for right now. So sorry about that. We'll next time on Let's Play Wandering Hamster. We'll take another look at it and find out what's going on. See you then.